Hey everybody, I am here today for Wild Whisper. I'm gonna be using tons of the new release and new products in some fun ways. So let's get started. First up, I am going to use this awesome stencil. So this stencil is larger than a lot of stencils. It's six by eight, so it's on the big side. You know I love a big stencil. This uh, goes with the Baby Collection which is called Sweet One, Little One, Sweet One, Sweet One, I think. And, uh, but the stencil itself is just a whole bunch of rainbows and they're beautiful. So I went through my Catherine Pooler inks, my swatch book, and I found one that would match. Now, this color matches the Until We Eat Again collection when you stamp it, but I'm going to ink blend it, which is gonna make it lighter. So it's still the same kind of tone and shade, but it is um, a bit kind of brighter and lighter when you put it through a stencil than it is when you stamp it. Um, I kind of wish I had grabbed a darker or a different shade of ink, but, uh, once I got into it and started working, I was going to use what I had stenciled. So I just used some Sizzix Makers, Makers Tape to get the stencil adhered to the paper. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to take my Picket Fence Life Changing Blender Brush and I'm just gonna go over all of these rainbows, all the rainbows. I'm gonna go over them a couple times. I'm gonna get a really nice, clean stencil. I'm stenciling on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper and I'm gonna fill this whole paper up. I'm gonna use it to kind of map my photos on. So I'm just gonna take the tape off and you can see the really nice, clean stencil. I'm gonna clean my stencil. I'm gonna retape it down. I'm gonna start over and I'm gonna go ahead and do that entire eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. Don't wanna waste this ink, so here's a little trick for you. I'm gonna grab a baby wipe and a piece of scratch paper, and I'm gonna wipe the baby over the stencil. This does two things. It cleans the stencil. It also gives me kind of like a fun pattern scrap that I can use for a lot of different applications. And I keep all of those, cause I'm insane. And someday I have to start pulling them out and using them. Now I'm just gonna move the stencil over Use the Sizzix Make Brick Tape and do the exact same thing. And that gives me this super fun rainbow paper. I'm gonna use this to map my photos and we're going to be using three photos today. So not a ton of this per of the stenciling is going to show, which for me was a really good way to go because once I had inked it up and let it dry. It was a little brighter and um, than I had envisioned simply because of the, the ink. Um, I should have maybe color matched a Tim Holtz Distress Oxide ink instead of a Catherine Polar because the Oxide inks hold their color and are a little more saturated when you ink blend them than the Catherine Polar inks are. The Catherine Polar inks tend to kind of lighten up a bit. So while it does match the collection I'm using and it's fine, it's just not the color I had envisioned in my head. So, um, and I really always seem to have a problem <laughs> when that happens to me. I have a hard time just rolling with it, but we're gonna roll with it today. So I'm gonna put my three photos here. These are three photos of my oldest son and my niece we had the opportunity to go ahead and visit them. And uh, I want to journal about how my niece and my oldest son, there are 10 years between them, but um, my old, my, or not my oldest son, my youngest son. Um, so there are 10 years between them, but he, even though he's 15 and full on teenager, he was so kind and so patient and sweet with her um, the whole time we were there. So I really want to document that because I think that it's um, an important story. So we're going to have some journaling on this page. Now I am just going to go ahead and use, I have my photos where I want it. I had to change out my blade on my trimmer. I'm going to go ahead and kind of trim it down this page. So um, I never found the arm 
in case you're wondering. Some of you have been following this. I never found the arm for my Tim Holtz guillotine trimmer that I loved. Uh, but I did, get, I did go ahead and buy this trimmer, which is another tonic trimmer. And I have to say, I love it. It's fabulous. It's working really, really well for me. Um, so I, I'm happy that I went ahead with that brand again. Now I'm going to fuss with these papers. So I don't know, you guys. I wanted something colorful. I love the colors in this collection. I was like super excited to layer all these patterns together, make a really fun layout. I knew that I could do that because my photos are black and white. And since my photos are black and white, there isn't a ton of color in them. Um, I knew I could go ahead and kind of build up the color on the back of my page and I would like it. That's just my personal preference when it comes to scrapbooking. Um, so I'm going to ink up all these layers and then I'm going to change my mind because the, in my head, that dark background, while I love it, it's too dark, but we're going to use a little bit of it. So I, I kind of stopped. I set all the papers off to the side. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try something else. I wanted to experiment a bit. There is a lot of experimentation on this layout. Um, so I had, I have the Until We Eat Again collection. I pulled all of the um, die cuts that aren't food out. I'm going to go ahead and um, pop some of these circles in and I'm just going to adhere them right down. I put a piece of like scrap paper in my Misty so I could kind of tack down these die cuts directly onto my Misty so they're not going to move. And then I'm going to go ahead and use the brand new script stamp from Nicole Wright that I have been dying, and I mean dying to use, like dying to use. I need to use the stamp set. I want to use the stamp set. So I went ahead and I stamped all over these die cuts. I think they turned out really awesome. Um, I don't know. I love the die cuts. I think that they turned out amazing. It was just the coolest looking thing. Um, but this layout at the end of the day comes out really busy. And I think it's because I just had all of these like technique ideas running around in my head. I wanted to use them all on this page. I wanted to use all the patterns and I just should have edited a little bit better. But sometimes that's just how it goes. And then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna move these papers around again and I'm gonna try to figure out what I wanna do with this. Um, <laughs> So what I end up doing is I'm going to use that light pink background paper, light pink paper as my background. Then I'm going to add the stripe paper to like the top half of the page. And then I'm going to add a strip of that navy paper because I'm crazy. Okay, so this is where I decide to um, go with my background. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put these papers on here and then I am can... Um, continue on with my plan for this page. So many plans. So once I got to this point, I'm like, okay, I, I think I was just so frustrated with moving all these patterns around that while I didn't love it, it was acceptable to me. And so that's what we're doing. Pulled out my favorite, favorite Wild Whisper stamps. These stamps, they get so much use and are so awesome. I am going to go ahead and just line up my tallest letter here on my T-square ruler and I'm going to kind of use that as a guide to help me stamp my title. So my title is going to be So Much Patience and under the title I'm just going to write some journaling and date my photo. By the way, this really beautiful navy blue ink I'm using is Juniper Mist ink from Katherine Puller. Um, one of my absolute favorites. This is like the go, my go-to navy. I love it. Okay, so now I have my title and my journaling in place. For this particular story, that was what was important to me, uh, was getting this story told. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and create kind of a couple little clusters with all these fun little circle patterns. Um, I do love the fun and I love these die cuts. Um, I think where I struggle with this layout 
is the inking. I wish I had done a different color. Um, and I'm still not sold on that background paper. It's so much pattern. I didn't, I didn't stamp on all the die cuts, which allows me to layer up some of these bright white hearts, which I th think helps break this layout, break up some of that very rich, deep jewel tone colors. So I'm just going to go with kind of a loose diagonal design so that your eye can kind of follow that down through the photos and the journaling and the title. And I'm just going to go ahead now and kind of get all of this down. And that's where we're going to call this layout done. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I kind of decided just to leave a little bit of my struggles in there. And uh, I'm really happy with how this layout turned out, though. It turned out really sweet. So I'll talk to you all again very soon. Bye.